My name is Thomas Lakavichus and I'm a head chef at the restaurant Turnips in a beautiful bowl market. The turnip story was super quick when everything started. So we had a lockdown, no jobs, everything's closed. Charlie already was supplying me in a previous restaurant. And then yeah, he came to me a couple of times and what he told me, he said, that was the chef we want to work in the future with. We opened a restaurant in two or three weeks from getting the source of the tables middle of lockdown, tables, shipping container, what was our kitchen, barbecue from the uh, Fred's garden, which is Charlie's dad. Um, yeah, all these things. So we put it together and people start loving it. Charlie is one of the best friends of mine. He introduces me into the most amazing things. You can get it from around the world. So we go, into England to start with, you know, we can go to Essex, Kent, further away, Scotland, wherever we can get it. And then if we can't get the right quality what we want, um, we're just going outside into the Europe or even further if we have to. If we're going to get a Sunfire, I know it's in the chef's world, it's really usable and amazing to use, but not many people buy in it. And then we go kind of a leftover, so then we take it and use it. It's the same as, you know, normal radishes, meat radishes or any produce we get, you know, he is the man to introduce him to us into the kitchen. And then that's how we evolve with the actual menu and then making the dishes and creating, I would say, on the spot. So it's not like I'm going to plan the menu or what I'm going to do in a two months time or the next two, three weeks. It's all what I'm going to have in here on the day. It might be a dish just only for tonight, it might be for tomorrow and day after. You know, there's going to be some specific product coming in, which he really wants me to highlight. And then after that, it just, yeah, just goes on the menu. So our cooking is freestyle cooking, I would say. Tonight, on our main tasting menu, you're going to have, you know, we're going to start with the sweet corn from Essex. Then we're going to go into the uh, Italy with the tomatoes and corn. And after that, you're going to have our beautiful sourdough bread made here every day. And then after that, you're going to have a baby cucumbers coming from Essex as well. So that's going to be with a kingfish. And then, so it's kind of the whole menu goes into the waves. So you're going to have a hot, cold, crunchy, you know, liquidy uh, food, but then all kind of highlighted into the uh, vegetable focus. So when we're doing this, so it's going to be a Sicilian pepper as a main with the Iberico pork. So you've got Iberico pork, which is one of the most amazing porks in the whole world. But then you're going to have a pepper, which my personal opinion, is taking away the pork. Every single chef, probably in our world, would, would be jealous a little bit. The access to the stuff we can get is, is, is literally unbelievable. From the most amazing Corsican peach, which, you know, sitting in the market in one weekend is gone. And then start getting softer, we take you, we make a puree. So I don't really need to buy any other purees to make the ice creams or, or sauces or purees or anything else. It's like a micro season is in our kitchen. It's in, in, it's in the whole this stand in the middle of a bottle market. You know, it's, it's just changing. Charlie taking, people buying, if they don't buy it, or if it's left over, we're just taking and we're using it and then we're putting it in six months later or two weeks. You know, if it's a preserve, we're going to take maybe two weeks minimum or then maybe can hold for a year. So all these little bits adds to our cooking so much, you know, from the ferment to the pickle to the fresh, fresh product and then you're on the spot. We have to respect not just the supplier. I think the chain goes even further, further to the people who grow it, who looks after the land. So I think the actual chain till it comes to the people's plates is like really, really long, you know, from the travel point of view. And then, yeah, people are gonna probably say bad things about air miles or something like this. But to be fair, if it's been done correctly and then travel to your table at the right time and in a beautiful way, I don't think there's any harm done to anybody. We are really lucky that we can get this produce for the much better price because um, we get it direct and then we got the suppliers more than four years and then you know it's kind of the family business expanded into the world so we've got France or it's going to be Essex or Kent we've got the farms who work really long time respect the season and then probably the actual body and mind will work different ways